All right, chosen one. Fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. Fool me three times, the peace sign, load a chopper, let it rain on you. All right. And I'm going to tell you that this came to pass, this came to pass, and I encountered a demon. All right. I encountered a demon, and it's almost like the exorcism. All right. And I was like, how, how, you know, Satan's very, very, um, he's manipulative and he also has his own strategies, right? How do I confront this without breaking one of my commandments, right? <laughs> That's essentially what I'm thinking. And you have to understand that Satan loves to gloat. Satan loves to gloat. But at the same time, the Lord said, the Lord said, you know, if they want to go one mile, give them two. If they want to spite you on one cheek, give them the other one. For doing so, you will. it will be like burning, heaping coals on their head. Okay? I decided to, to bless my enemy with the condition that they just don't contact me. And I, I said why. Alright? <laughs> this is tough. When you expose a demon certain things happen they either gloat about it and they say yes yes wow good job you caught on yeah that was that was it or ah my plan failed but this would have been the outcome and it's just like what how twisted is that or they they put their head down in shame and they can't they can't look you in the eyes all right they cannot look you in the eyes they cannot show up um I, i've had this happen as well where some someone will not show up on on video cam but they will they will be on the phone laughing about it all right so specifically i said do not contact me after this i will do this for you but after this you do not contact me um because i have tried to bless you in this manner not once but twice and each time that i've allowed that to happen you have used it as an opportunity to abuse me, to make sure that I was in chaos, in turmoil, um, and, and you don't want the best for me, all right? I, I've tried that, and now I'm at a stage where I have a lot more on the line than I did before. And for this person, because Satan loves to gloat, I know. Yes, I know. And then all of a sudden it was, you know what? I, I don't want, your enemy doesn't want the blessing anymore. Because they will not be able to reach their objective. Ah, dang, I, I can't I can't get my foot in the door that way. I'm gonna have to try some other way. They're gonna look for a more opportune time. And here's here's the other revelation I got. Some people will try to kick you down intentionally, right? So that they can be of service to you. So that they can but they're not really being of service. They they had it planned out that way from the beginning. Alright? So it came to pass, um, and that, that's, that's how I handled that one. So, God bless. Bye-bye.